than gold, whiter than snow, deeper than the ocean, whiter than the sea.
are a good God. Oh, mighty God. Man, you Impact, listen by Bell, Guma, who Bonoma Hamba is got insult for the local fang and Sabi Lut for Mania de Woods when our Nami, Bugalans about to do lap, Pagans about to see Mosbe and Jan Gunungu corner, Ukona Mugan Gunagashi and for Sagatina, and not only but leave nor forsake you. So, whatever that is you're facing right now, God is with you. I got I will sometimes be with you, He is with you all the time, uh, even in that sick bed, God is with you. Emma Vinjamuru at the Woodsy, Agashi and Agatero, Slogan Clabe La Sos, and Teram Tadileo, Ganjalo now in Agashi. Today on the show, Mugan. Michael Davids, all the way from South Africa. I think he's a brother now in the kingdom of Eswatini because I've seen him so many times. He's with us again. We're talking about his journey, how he started, because you know very well that he doesn't only sing, but he also preaches. Uh, let's let's just have this conversation with him. Um, well, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, professor. <laughs> Um, well, thank you so much once again. Welcome back to the Kingdom of Israel. Uh, thank you for having and me. And thank man. you so much for being with us. I'm pleased to be Impact. Let's just talk about um, you. What, yeah. what, what started first? Um, yeah. The preaching or the singing? Right, okay. I would, I would think uh, it, the two go together. But for this question, I think for me, it, it started first with the singing, yeah. the music. But I believe... It was still a you know a vehicle for the gospel, yeah, true. and um, I think then the the transitioning into preaching became easy because I was already preaching through melodies. Yeah. So yeah, I would I would I would think maybe the the singing came first. Yeah. Now talking about the song, the Puma Goyo mm. Corner. Yeah. Um, what does that song say to you uh, when you sing? Looking at it now. Yeah, I, I'm actually so blessed watching it because I haven't watched it in such a long time. <laughs> But um, that song, when, when I wrote it, basically, I think at that time, I, just, I was just feeling down, you know. Will, will things happen? You know, will things change? You know, when you get into, yeah. as a young person, you know, um, is it always going to be this way or are things going to turn around? And, and the Lord said, I've been there from the beginning. Okay. I've been there and I'm the Alpha, I'm the Omega, you know. Um, you're still worried over Jesus, maybe that's in the grave. He says, no, the grave has been defeated. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says this, that the last enemy that was to be defeated was death. Mm -hmm. And Jesus overcame death. And if he was able to overcome death, there's nothing that is impossible for him. And I think that's when the song came, you know, because it, it said to me that if he knew how to create before I was born, what makes it impossible for him to sort out my life even now, you know? And yeah, that's what that song is saying to me. And I'm really so blessed by it right now, listening to it. I think I'm more, I'm more encouraged than somebody <laughs> watching it right now. <laughs> true. Yeah. I guess what you're saying is very true because I've heard uh, some ministers sitting here and they're like, sometimes we write songs to minister, but sometimes those songs years back, yeah. they come back and minister to, yeah. minister to Your us. Your own song, yeah. Yeah, true. Talking about writing, you mentioned it's about mm. Bala. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong singing my songs yes. or arranging my yeah, songs, yeah, yeah. but how important is the writing? Right. So, I've, I believe every person is born with a purpose in this world. Yeah. And I have a strong feeling that there are things that I can do that you can't do. And I believe there are things you can do that I can't do. Yeah. But both of the things that we are able to do, our generation needs them. Yeah. And for me, it's that important when it comes to songwriting, that the Lord has placed something in me that my generation needs to experience. Um, I believe I am called to impact my generation. And I, I think the biggest mistake we make as, as singers, as worshipers, as preachers, is that we're thinking, no, 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 we still have a lot of time. You know, people say, no, I'll do it next of next year or yeah, three years from true. year. 
but your purpose is very important. We need to make sure that every day we are fulfilling what he has called us to fulfill for the day. Mm. And for me, I know I have so many songs inside of me that my generation still needs to experience. You look at David. David, you know, when he came into the scene, probably there were not a lot of hymns that were written. And when David came into the scene, he, he knew one of the things that he, he was called to do was to write songs that will be sung by generation. Yeah. When he come into his kingdom as king, the first thing that he fixes is, let's, let's get worship going. Yeah. I mean, David in his kingdom, worship was going 24 seven because he understood the power. He understood the power of worship, how worship can terrorize, you know, kingdoms and authorities in the spirit before you come into the natural. Yeah. And when you came into David's kingdom, the first thing you met was a sound lifting up the name of God, Amen. saying, this is our father, you know. Amen. And I believe with me, I'm called to be a David in my generation. Mm, to, David. Yeah, to write songs <laughs> that that will change people's lives. Yes, now, mm. now talking about songs and writing, I'm gonna go my accolade do it again. Hey. Uh, how did that song come about and um, why that song? Yeah, uh, oh, this song for me is everything because I'm passionate about revival. Yeah. I've studied revivalists, your AALN, your Jack Cole, Daddy Simo, all of these guys. Um, and I believe our generation for a while, we've been very timid and we haven't been seeing the power like we've seen it before. Mm -hmm. And I'm not talking creating things, I'm talking about the raw power of God. And this song for me was God, it was my prayer to God, that will you do it again? What you did before, can you do it again? Can we see your power like never before can we see the power of god manifesting in our generation and where men cannot even argue that that presence that power and for me that's that's the song you know thank you so much powerful yeah. words indeed and we're gospel impact pastor michael david let's do it again it's a miracle today for if you did it before Say all the same yesterday.
than gold, whiter than snow. Welcome back, Mbogeli. You are still watching Gospel Impact. And we'll share Mbogeli up on a seat for me. Salam, Tarawa, Dinsubu. I don't think I'm going to spend the slide pass again. Now I'm an artist. Kuvara Bandi. We'll talk about Jani in the music industry. And we'll talk about Bonagopi in the next coming years. Today, we have a brother um, in the kingdom of a certain and a brother to Gospel Impact. Ngrumangaya, Pastor Michael David, all the way from South Africa. Uh, Pastor Michael, yes. before I went for an ad break, this is like I'm let's do it again. You know, yeah. sometimes, um, the work has a lot of things. Let's see, 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 let's Sometimes it might feel like you know you feel like yes, God is not yes, with me, yeah, right. and I think the song is a song that we need. I think yeah. personally, it's a song that I needed to yeah. remind us. Yes, you know, um, it's it's a healing song for everyone. Yeah. And looking back, was Longoma you did it some years ago, and yeah. it's still talking at yeah. like 2024. Yeah. And I think that's gonna bring us to the part I would say, what is the difference of of ministering? Yeah. Uh, and and just singing, just because right. you have the voice. Right. Right. And I think like I had said in the beginning that purpose, mm -hmm. purpose, yeah. why are we doing what we're doing, yeah. you know, um, and I think that will change the way we view things. True. So I'll speak for me. For me, I don't have time um, to sing songs that somebody needs to say, wow, you're amazing. Mm -hmm. I don't have the time because I understand that lives are at stake. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. And I believe that some of the songs that we release are warfare in the spirit. Some of them are, are just songs that win people back into the kingdom of God. And that's why for me, you know, I, I believe it's important to minister from what God is giving you. Yeah. Which uh, I know that my music is not always what is popping, if I can put it like that. You know, I, we, we can do popping stuff. But the Lord has never allowed me to do that. He said it's purpose. Yeah. You, you understand? Um, for example, I remember we, we wrote the song Wave After Wave. And we got a testimony from somebody. Um, they wanted to take their life that morning. And the kids were watching TV and Wave After Wave was playing. And there's a part there where I sing, I kneel down and I say, but I was talking about me. It's not like I was planning that somebody would yeah. see I was talking about me that I could have been dead. I know I could have been dead, mm -hmm. but your mercy, you know, saved me again and again. And so she says when she saw that part, she fell down and it felt like something was removed from her spirit mm -hmm. and she started having a desire to live again. Mm -hmm. So God saved somebody's life. And for me, if it's one soul, it's more than enough. Mm -hmm. yeah, the Bible says Jesus leaves the 99 to find the one. Yeah. Maybe I'm that minister that finds the one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, talking about um, kneeling down, and you are one person when you get on stage. Yeah. Um, you don't just sing because you have five minutes on stage, right, or because right. they said you must sing three songs. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually sing for an hour. <laughs> yeah, and, and I get into trouble. Yeah, you can. That's sing why like... I'm not invited in big shows. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what I like about you, what I've learned um, as as Nglanzela, um, yeah. um, the shows that the events that you you, you or you attend. You are one person who's genuine, like you pour yourself out. You are yeah. I would see you're an artist. Yes. Um, I think I'm saying this because there are people watching at home that want to get into the industry. And some people feel like, oh, I can't do this because my makeup is going to be ruined mm. or whatever. You are one person who do when you're on stage. Mm. How do you do that? You know, the ministry is not industry. All right. There's ministry and there's industry. Mm -hmm. But these two, you can't do both of them at the same time. Maybe you might try in the beginning, but somewhere they're going to collide. Mm. And you're going to have to make a decision. Am I going industry or am I going ministry? And industry is not bad. Um, ministry just has a different purpose. Okay. Industry, you know, when people want a good song, it works for that. People get excited and joyful and so forth. It works for that. But ministry is different. You are imprinting scriptural words from God into hearts of people. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it becomes very important that we hear him. So whenever I get onto stage, I'll tell you a funny story to answer this question. I was invited to an event and they told me which songs I must sing. <laughs> now, you don't do that with me because I am a man under authority. I do not do what I like. I get told what I need to do. The Bible says, he says, when, when I was young, I went wherever I wanted. I did whatever I wanted. He says, but when I come to maturity, there's one who holds me by the hand and he leads me. 
And so I came to the event. I tried, honestly, I tried to, I started the first song. And in the middle of the first song, the Lord said, what are you doing? He says, have you ever given me a chance to tell you what to do? And right then, then we had to change everything. And after I could see the organizer saying, what happened to my I closed my <laughs> eyes and I worshiped and I, and the problem was when we left, people were crying, people were in tears and that messes up now the flow of what they want. And I understand. So, so it's important to sing the heart of God because you don't know who's in there that is about to take their life, that's about to leave their wife, that's about to make a wrong decision. And all they needed was a confirmation of a word from God. Amen. And I think we need people like you in the ministry. Amen. Amen. Yeah. still watching Gospel Impact. So tell them I'm going to let you know what I'm going to say. At it's time for revival and Bella and and before we get everything that you want, let it be seek his kingdom in everything. We are still with Pastor Michael David. Yes. Dr. Michael David. Oh, my Lord. Doctor. <laughs> Please don't disappoint me because this means you must go to school now. Yeah, the next yeah, time yeah. you come through, it's DR. I remember <laughs> in theology. I stopped there at a, at a degree. Now you want me to I my <laughs> Next God. time we come through is DR Michael David. Yo, please. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no, I will I will make sure. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're seeing you playing a keyboard here. Yeah. And clearly you do everything. You have video, graphers, well. Yeah, yeah, I am a video editor. Editor and yeah. you play like you do everything. You're a pastor, play, you're a yeah, minister. I play the bass. How do you balance everything? Piano. Because even now you're looking at the picture like, no, this one is not nice, this one is nice, this do it Ah, so, so young people. You know, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, everything, how do you wear all the heads and, and be able to balance? So, when, when, when growing up, I think one of the things that, one of the things that worked on my side was I wanted to learn whatever my hands could find. Yeah. So, at church, I was a piano player, I was a worshiper, I was the camera guy. I was the sound guy, I need. I was the driver. So I did everything with the word. When the church starts at 10, now I'm there at six, I'm picking up everybody, making sure. Everybody. So I learned, I had, to, I had to learn. I love serving 
even now in uh, where I am, uh, if I walk in a church where I'm, mini I'm ministering and they're working with some, I'll, I'm gonna ch I'm gonna get in there and, and help them. I think now you're touching the serving part. Um, mm. I usually ask them the importance of serving people that come through. Because yeah. um, sometimes, if I work on TV, so when I get to church, I'm just going to sit. Uh, How about no. amen, I stand up and I go, what's the importance of serving in church? You might be a celebrity to people, but to God, you are just amen. a little boy amen. or a little girl. Yeah. You know. So for me, he's my father, man. Whenever I'm in his house, I serve. I, when, when I visit my father's house, I don't wait for... Somebody to say, hey, the, the grass is too big or whatever. Mm. If I find something to do, I do. And so for me, it, that's why it's hard. People always come to me when I go around, hey, can I have a picture? I don't get used to that because I'm just like everybody else. Actually, I am just somebody that God decided, this vessel, I just want to use it in this department. But I'm just a vessel. We are, you know, there's nothing in, I don't want to say incredible, but we are the same. It's just that you are doing a different thing. I mean, nobody sees you here. They'll see you on TV, but they don't see you when you are busy with this. It's yeah, behind the scene. Yeah. But but, uh, but our brother is on the other side. Everybody is playing their role. Yeah. And I think I'm just privileged that the way we do ministry, we get to be in front of people. But yeah. I'm the same as the guy behind mm. the curtain. You yeah. know? Mm. Talking about um, working with people, um, how do you choose uh, Emma Collaborations, Arco? When you like, I want to feature Mbali, how do you yeah. choose? <laughs> how it do you has, choose an artist? It has, it has always been the Lord. Of course, in the beginning of my journey, I think it was me, because you are learning. Yeah. But as time went, uh, I lost the desire of, oh, if I have this big celebrity in my song, or I lost that desire. It was now about purpose. Mm. What is the Lord trying to build and who does he want in this thing? Yeah. And all the people I've worked with, the Lord has given me a chance to work with them. Yeah. yeah. I like how you, whenever you, you, you talk, you go back to the purpose. Yeah, it's important. Say, it's important. Yeah. But. Can you move to in the kingdom, please? So that we can do this purpose thing. We can thing. do this purpose yeah, thing. Please. I'm actually excited. There's a guy. Oh, maybe I'm jumping. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let's hold it there. Oh, but let me hold it's it. gonna happen, Doctor. Right? Uh, it's gonna happen Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. But I was about to talk about the young man that goes into the schools. Yes. And ministers to the schools oh, in yes, the kingdom. Yes. Uh, Brother Solomon. He invited me for. The, you don't understand how excited I was, because I love young people, mm. and that's what we call purpose. I like how me and you are having this conversation and the post is not yet out where your face is there, but it's fine. <laughs> You're watching gospel. In fact, I spoke to the Nailingoma, Yaki, Pastor Michael David. I'm sorry. <laughs>
Michael David, a beautiful song. Um, yeah. I see you working with our brother, another brother. Yes, another uh, brother <laughs> in the kingdom. Yeah, man. Um, how is it amazing, working? Amazing, amazing, amazing worshiper. Yeah, how is it working? I was about to ask that. Uh, how, how is it working with the Daki? No, it was incredible. Yeah. Um, Daki is a very humble guy, True. really, yeah. really humble guy. Um, easy to work with, very, very gifted guy. So mm -hmm. it was amazing to work with him. And I mean, this is like, what, 2016? It's been... It's been forever, yeah. you know. And you can see both of us, uh, we were very skinny <laughs> and looking like little boys. Yeah. <laughs> but look at look at look what at the Lord now. has done yeah. in his life. Yeah, and true. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was awesome the working with him. He's, very, he's a genius. Like he's a genius in music. You know? yeah. yeah. Now you're touching in Zabaikba Humble. I think it's a very, very important one. Mm. Um, I can also, my father's an attack, a very humble person. Also, we've always got time for everyone. Yeah. Um, and also with you, I mean, you've you've done so much. Yeah. Um, and yet you remain humble. Yeah. Um, how do you do that? Um, and what has kept you grounded? I always say that if you want to see a man go down, the first thing you're going to see is pride. You know when you see pride, the man is going down. The Bible says before a downfall of a man, pride comes. Yeah. So in other words, the, 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 what do we call it? The, the, the before effects mm -hmm. of a man falling is when you see them being pompous. Yeah. And I think that has always kept me, you know, and, and pride is something that shows that there's no love. Once there's love, pride cannot be in the same room as love. Mm, yeah. When love is in the room, humility is the brother of love. Mm. But pride cannot stay in the room because love, what, what does the Bible say? It says it covers a multitude of sin. Mm. It, 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 it is patient. Love, love is something that causes you to understand and love people. But pride is a different story. Yeah. Pride says, I am the man. Yeah. Everybody must bow. Yeah. So uh, once we do that, we take the honor of God and then we we want to compete with the Father. Then we have a problem. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, and it's a sort of word. It, it means ungu. Uh, yeah. You are love, you are gracious, um, you are the name above all names, uh, and you are worthy to be worshipped. Mm. So basically it's a song about, uh, let me try and say it in, in Zulu. Yes. In Goma. Yes. Amen. Or Ongalinganiswanai. So we that's basically what it is. Yo, no, now, you, now you're becoming here. So, so I will get it right, I promise. Yeah, man. Yeah. you still watching Cause for Impact. So, Pastor Michael David Mbogeli. In Zabari, it's in your purpose, Mbogeli. And in Zabari, it's in Mbogeli. Because for Impact, we always talk about that part, the importance of relationships. And boom, to have a name, Lil Wan, and I'm because you don't talk about somebody that you do not know about. So, it's very important. We're going to get another beautiful song from uh, Pastor Michael David to enjoy. Just so Jesu lukile ulukile 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 ulukile
For impact, so let deny him by Laura Similan, Umgun, Bembe, Levin Kornig, and Bugalang Humming Edva, Jingle Salanda Hambanaya, Pastor Michael David, as Kumar and Humbolak and Bugger, and the importance um, of having the relationship with God as well, and also relationship around um, the, the industry that you, you work at with. Um, sorry, uh, Pastor Michael David, mm. uh, before we went for an air break, uh, we saw a beautiful song. Yeah. Um, and clearly, you've written songs in, in own languages. Yeah, no. I, I think uh, very, very soon, I'm sure we're going to have one. Are you aware that you're saying this on national TV, right? Yeah, I, I, I know. We're going to. Trust yes. me. Mm. And when we do, I pray that when we release it, the people of Eswatin will, will listen to it. You know? yeah. But we will. We will. Yeah. Um, I am planning to work with some people from Eswatini, like Shekina, you yeah. know. Um, yeah, so I will write the song soon. Amen. And uh, let's talk about the collaboration with uh, Osislebu. Yeah. Um, how did that come about? Yo, Osislebu is like my sister, like my big sister in a way. Mm. We, we talk a lot. Um, and when I was writing this song, I didn't even think I was going to feature her. Because we were so close. I didn't... I, the relationship was not like a musical relationship. Oh, okay. It was just, you know, me and her family and them and the, our family, we just that close. And But when I wrote the song, I literally heard her voice on that part, uh, and I was like, yeah, hey, all slaves. <laughs> so I wrote it, sent it to her. She was like, this is my song. We are singing it together. So it was really amazing. It's always amazing to work with her because Oslebo loves the Lord. Mm -hmm. um, and we both we both are crazy about God and music, so it was always amazing to to be together to do this uh, this song. Amen. Talk about amazing things. Um, there's a, I don't know whether to call it a movement or mm. the spontaneous encounter. Yeah, yeah. How did that come about? You know, um, I'm saying this because when you look at Emma, uh, when it all started, mm. some of the people that you started with, I still you are still doing it the spontaneous encounter yeah. even now. There's nothing wrong, you know. But I want this, I want this person, I want this pop in one, I want this, you know. How did you start? Yeah, so I'm going to be honest, Mbali, and say it's always tricky to work with other people uh, from a perspective of somebody might feel like maybe you want to build your brand 
using their brand. Mm -hmm. So I was always scared to do something like that. Well, uh, let me not say always scared. I wasn't planning to do anything like that. Until, and Mina, I was just going to push my music and I was comfortable with it. And I think we we were doing well. Wave after wave, the first album we never featured. No, the second album we never featured anyone. Um, and then I was okay. But the Lord said that he spoke to me and he spoke to me about a community of people. And he said, you got to build through a community of people. And so we, I remember, you know, funny enough, this week we were listening to the first spontaneous we did. And we want to release that as a project. Mm -hmm. It was so beautiful with Cairo. Um, Cairo, I, I had also, there's a lady about Bongiwe, Bongiwe Matela. She sings for Joyce now. Uh, and then ID who sings for Will Worship. And yeah, a couple of guys, it was beautiful. So how it started, God spoke to me and he says, I want a community of people that will travel all over and just do this. When I called them, everybody was excited to work with me. Yes, uh, that's amazing. Um, now, yeah. Babu Gale, this on, 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 stay, on, on yeah. their TV screens. Yes. Where was this and what was happening here? Oh, so this was in Babaton, Bumalanga, um, at a church they called Like a Mighty Wind. And man, that day when we were doing this, the young people came to the front and, you know, we, were, we went crazy. Of course, the older people were like, what's going on? Mm. And we were like, this is what we do. We had a great time here. Yeah. We had an incredible, actually we had even some young people from Mozambique there. It was amazing. Yeah, you can see I was wearing a shirt which is very rare. rare. <laughs> <laughs> but the wife said, hey, put on a shirt today and I said, whatever you want, baby. Yeah. Um, you just touched in Zaba, yeah, 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 in my relationships, actually you touched the artist that you've worked with, Ekbali and Spontaneous. Yeah. Um, when you look back now, yeah. 2020, 2024, yeah. and what can you say? I mean, because you did mention that you were scared yeah, of I was. saying, come along, Cairo, come I along. I was, I was. Whoever come along. And, and when we started it, we had some awesome names, but some of them were not as big as they are now. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just showing you the goodness of God. Mm -hmm. They were studying, they were singing, you know, um, and the, some of them were backing singers. And when we started it, we just love God. I mean, I'm sure you can see once more. We yeah. just love God. We are just brothers that love the Lord. And little did we know what God has ahead of time for us. I mean, and when we started it, everybody was excited, man. I, I made it clear that it's not going to be the same people all the time. Um, because some people are going to get busy, you know, yeah. like now you see Bongi is, is with uh, Joya, she gets busy, Cairo does her, her stuff, amazing worshipper, once more, uh, ID, all of them, you know, mm -hmm. are doing incredible things. But what I still love, even to this day, is that we still have that tight relationship that if I ask them tomorrow and say, guys, let's all invade Eswatini with this, Mm -hmm. They would come with me. There's no problem. And vice versa, when they call me to their things, we don't question. We run. We go do this thing because yeah. it's about the things of the Lord. All right. Um, I think right now we're going to go straight to Spontaneous Salapai Kai Swadini. Oh, yeah. And that was happening at Eagles Wings. We're ready to enjoy. <laughs>
Mungwere, we're having a great time. It's about Snap and having an amazing time. It's time to me, Salon Travatin, so we should not let go. My son, Kulta, Tatra, and Mungwere, I beg it, let it go. Eh, Umanga, and I was long, 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 and when Dani, can Mungwere, our God is a faithful God. Go and get in there, go away. Eh, Pelan, Jimena, our friends, go and go. It's Stalin's way, Nia. It's Stalin's way, Nia. So, then I last September, Stalin turned us on. Go and go. Pastor Michael. Yes. I'm just talking about the song. Uh, now you're busy screaming, looking at the songs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> How is that for you now, looking at it? Mungwere, seven, you go. La wenda, go like ten. Yeah. Because I mean, he trusted you. It's, it's always great to see people being being touched, impacted by what we do, yeah. and like watching what we just saw now. It's just that I'm not a cry baby, but probably I would just <laughs> like other people. Oh wow, you <laughs> been crying the whole show. Yeah. Oh yeah, thank you but, so much. <laughs> but but it's beautiful, man. Yeah. Like somebody asked me a question once, and they said. Because they find me listening to some of my songs in my car. Yeah. And they're like, hey, man, don't you get it? Don't you feel weird listening to yourself? I'm like, nope. It changes my life yeah. every time I listen to it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, are you planning on working? On, we know that you, you, you're part of Belegaz's project, but are you planning on working with other Swatini or are you still praying about it? No. Um, I, I think I am going to be working with Shekin in the near yes. future. All right. Um, actually, we wrote a song for one project that's going to come up mm -hmm. and we are talking on writing more stuff and I believe we're going to do some few things together. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this thing of the young men with the schools yeah. and see what the Lord is going to do moving yeah. from there. But I am excited about what God is doing in Swaziland when it comes to gospel music. Amen. Mm. Um, so, you're from South Africa, you are a brother now, we know that, but yes. when you started now thinking, or when you had a conversation with God, and probably he was like, now take it to Eswatini, yeah. how was that? Were you not afraid? I mean, taking it in a different country? I was. Yeah. And I was very afraid. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know. Okay, thank God I knew our apostle, yeah. you know, uh, Eagle's Wings, I knew them because I had attended a conference, mm -hmm. and I was scared to even ask them. But one day I just decided, you know what, faith, uh, faith is, 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 is evidence of those things we are hoping yes, for. Exactly. So I might as well just go. Yeah, so I true. called, spoke to the apostle, asked me a few questions. I told him and he said, actually, we've been wanting to ask you if you could come for something. Mm. And I said, ah, then this is the something. Exactly. And we did it. Actually, the first time we didn't do it at Apostles Church. We did it at Fagazi's church. Okay. Um, what is it called? The one that's... Fagazi Samo. Yeah, yeah, their church. I think it's FE. Is it free? FE? Yes, yeah. Yes. We did it their first, first time. Came with a whole different band. Mm -hmm. And the second time then we went to Apostle Samoneng. But it was... It was never wrecking, but the response was really incredible. And it has been a build up to something, you know. Amen. Now, right now, when I come to Switzerland, I am excited because I know I understand the people, they understand me. We're going to have Amen. an incredible time in the presence of God. Amen. I think that, that gives more reasons of having a house in the kingdom of Switzerland. Because there's a lot you need to do. Keep praying, keep praying. <laughs> I think Lord, I did. Me, I've done praying. I receive. Now it's going to be happening. Amen. I know I believe the, you. probably the following month you're going to be here, come probably on. another yes, month, another yes, month. Yes, and yes. then after that, it's the best of Yeah, amen. <laughs> <laughs> I love the faith here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thank you so amen. much for your time, Nugu. Thank you I'm so much. I'm fortunate to come to the end of show, but yeah. thank you so much for but doing this. But before we go, I want to thank also the the TV, you know, station for yeah. having me, you guys, yeah. um, the producer at the back, you guys are incredible. And since I've been to Swaziland, when I then met you guys, I think we just connected with you guys. Yeah. We are like a family. <laughs> yeah. And may the Lord bless this TV station, bless this show. And Amen. may we see great things happening in your lives. Amen. Amen. So now you. I want me to cry as I'm about to close the show. Okay, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> thank you so much, Nego. We receive thank, thank you so much. much. May God be with you as well. Amen. Thank see you. See you soon. Blessings. Mugele, my best night again, Nego. Michael David, all the way from South Africa. Mugele, I'm going to go to the Lord. 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 I'm going to go to the L